welcome back to the channel. For some of you that have been sticking around and taking a look, you might have seen some of the videos we put up back at the beginning of this year. It's been quite some time since we last uploaded a video, so today I thought we'd pick it back up where we left things off by cleaning out the Ciano Nexus 25 tank that we set up last Christmas, towards the end of December, no doubt. So I'm going to sort this quick little mob out, jump in the shower, and then we'll get this underway. So today's vlog is going to be a little bit different. The first thing I'm noticing is that it is dark as hell very early these days. Again, we're back in the winter in Wales, and in Wales it gets dark very, very early. Now, before I show you the state of the tank, I have to do a couple of disclaimers. One, there's no fish in the tank at the moment, and two, there hasn't been fish in the tank for quite some time. The tank has been left dormant, and the reason that I keep looking is that it is quite a disgusting sight, but you have to see it nonetheless for us to get it clean. So without further ado, I'll introduce the tank. So this is going to be our project for today then we're going to be getting this puppy back up and running. We're just going to put it the old tilty tilty. And yeah, get it so that it's a suitable stable home for some fish going forward and certainly in ready for the in-laws or, well not so much in-laws just yet, but for some relatives to be coming over and stopping at Christmas time in our spare room with this lovely hunk of, of love. So the first thing we want to go do then. No, no, the goal. first thing we're going to want to be doing is moving off any anything that we don't want in the way. Because ultimately we don't want water spilling everywhere. If we do, we don't want it on all our lovely, wonderful belongings. Now I have had a bit of a tidy up before, to which we will agree. Uh, but ultimately, we want <laughs> any distractions or anything completely out of the way. Now one thing that I will come back to in another part of the video that we'll add in as well, is where we've been in the past year so I'd say the biggest part of the past year is that somebody else has joined the family so we also had Bailey along with Pebbles which we knew about last time which was our lovely rabbits that lived up the back but we've also now got a new addition but first this tank needs a clean and we're going to be doing the cleaning so as you can see it's in quite a way Oh, it's gone quite a ways and dire need of some TLC. It's been neglected for quite some time, so we're gonna have to get a siphon filter to get some of the water out along with the dirt gravel and all the gunk in between. Um, as well as that, we're gonna be taking the heat drop, but the heat is gonna be permanently kept down now because to be honest, it doesn't really fit. It came with the tank, but it was never, I don't think it was ever designed for this tank. Um, it's not submersible, so it's not something I can sink under. And the top always kept the lid just a little bit ajar, allowing the condensation to come out and break free. Um, so I'm going to be taking that out permanently. So it's going to become a cold water tank. I'm thinking about having some nice, uh, nice little goldfish in there, and ultimately when they grow out and they become big, then they can join the pond out the back. But for now, we just got to focus on getting about to clean. So I'm just going to pop out now and get the filter or the siphon. And I'll be back just to take. Right, so we're going to book it, put it all filled there, let's get a show on the road.
It's actually draining in a bit quicker than I first thought it would. Not bad little holes. So I suppose while this is draining, it's a good time to explain where I've been for the past 12 months. So I, I took a break from YouTube because I, I, I sort of fell out of love with it. I went and joined Twitch for love of the gaming as well, it just made sense. Um, but as weird as it sounds, I, I almost fell out of love with Twitch. Because I missed the sort of... The, the editing side of things really. I missed editing videos and having reactions to you guys or hearing from you guys when you were uploaded, your thoughts, your feelings and your feedback and I just missed the whole the whole community really the same way. So I thought Pretty much only bugged down. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, I fell in love with, with Twitch because it, it almost became uh, a chore more than anything, and it started to impact my personal life. Every night of the week, without fail, I was jumping online to stream and streaming for two or three hours, and it started to take its toll on, on my health and um, sort of personal relationships as well. The time away from from Re and from, from our dog Cobo. I just missed out on other activities on the weekends because my life became about building this community and building this streaming community where there was other people who were streaming, other gamers. Um, and yeah, just pretty much was overrun by Twitch. But, let me get rid of this bucket of water and we'll carry on. Now I stand by here, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be easier way to empty what's in there into the bucket that's in the heater and the filter just to get them out of there and just carry this might end in tears I'll leave that bit on the top wish me luck Again, this tank is diabolically dirty. I'm only got myself the blame, so I've not kept it. I suppose for those of you that haven't seen the last video, this is a Ciano Nexus 25. It was a, a lovely gift that my partner the time ran on the time. My partner at the time, oh, yeah, this is it. My partner at the time bought me as a gift. She's still my partner, just to clear any discrepancy. But she bought me as a gift. Um, we had some fish in it, we had some blue rams, but it just wasn't big enough, so we moved them into the bigger tank, which we will not to see at a later date, but as soon as I moved them out, this tank just, just got left. And the longer I left it, the more work it became, and the more work it became, the longer I left it. And ultimately this tank, I think, has been left sat there, sort of festering, really, for... Um, the best part of wait well, six months.
Now because I'm an absolute tool bag, I've had to retire the camera for now. Reason being massively unprepared being back at YouTube, forgot the cameras need batteries and batteries need charging. So the camera's on charge. So later on when we do our little one-to-one -one with Cobra where you get a medium and everything's all lovey dovey, it'll be back on the camera that Craig's kindly lent us. For now though, the rest of this vlog or the rest of the tank being cleaned will be done on my little iPhone 7. So just taking the tank back now for his quick last clean. Um, just taking it back for his last clean. It's as clean as I can get it, and any other cleaning then will have to take place um, upon it being all set back up. The filter's been cleaned, the heat has been cleaned, but the hill the, the heater will not be going back in the tank. The reason being I'm gonna keep it as a cold water tank. I think it's just easier that way. I'm thinking about maybe some shrimp or just a single goldfish as a sort of feature fish. That being said, I know that goldfish will outgrow their environment if it's this small in a very quick period of time. So like I said earlier, it would then either go into the pond in the back garden or into the larger tank where we could accommodate it in the main. So for now, I guess we get this set back up. It's been interesting cleaning it and obviously it seemed quite quick looking at these videos, however that's taken an awful lot longer than I would like to admit. And the bathroom is in a bit of a state. So I think one of the things that I loved most about this tank when I first had it was just sleep luck, it's sleep presentation, but I think overall it's a very aesthetically pleasing tank. It's, it, as we've shown today, it's quite easy to clean, even if you neglect it for a long period of time. It came with this nifty little filter, which I think is the CF40, I think, if I remember rightly. Uh, but either, either way, it's a nice filter. It comes with a nice little bio uh, mesh kits and bits and bobs, but it's a damn sight smaller than the tank that we've got downstairs. Wow, that's awesome. One thing I'd like to do with the filters is angle it up and the reason being then is that it, it moves the surface water so you don't get that sort of stagnant water across the top if that makes sense. So it doesn't go green, it doesn't build on algae and it just doesn't, it doesn't end up bloody horrible. It's also quite nice as well because the fish then have got that hiding space down to the bottom. How true that is, I'm just assuming I'm not a fish. Up and restore this tank to its former glory, we'll get this a little bit better cleaned up as well because we will flip in, rip us a new one and we don't want Let's get some water back in this puppy. So I suppose just as we're starting to it's probably a good time to uh, address what well, some people might write in the comments, what some people might pick up and say, Wayne, what the hell are you doing? Where's your bloody pebbles? Well, I'm not putting any stones in, I'm not putting any pebbles in, and the truth is, I don't really know what I want to do with it just yet. Um, I don't know whether I want sand, because that's always a good one, but then a bugger to clean. Um, I don't know if I want fine pebbles, thick pebbles, I just genuinely don't know what I want to do with it just yet. So for that reason, I'm going to leave it uh, clean, and then I'm going to let it run for a little bit, just to make sure the tank itself doesn't go all uh, horrible. Um, let the filter run. Um, and probably make a, a decision in the next week or two and I'll be sure to keep you updated so Everything's back up and running, the filter's in place, it's all looking quite nice, and if I remember rightly. There's the LEDs, boy, oosh. So there we have it. Actually, let me go and get something to wipe this up. So there we have it, the tank's done, it's all back up and running and I know I mentioned earlier about going to meet in Cobra but I think thinking about it that took me a lot longer than I would like to admit. We've got to pop out and do some things and get some food and I want to give Cobra the justice he deserves because he is a beautiful, beautiful pooch. 
So I think what I'll do tomorrow's vlog will be an introduction to Kobo. We'll have the camera all charged up as well, so we'll get a crisp, picture-perfect video. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get to meet him. I'm excited, and you should be too.